I just found an interesting challenge to create a character who is not an evangelical Christian, who is not um, a, a, a man of faith. He's not. Um, he, he, he's, he's actually made some serious mistakes in his life. He's, he's struggling. He's, he's battling alcoholism. He's a recovering alcoholic. He's divorced. He's alone. He's in his mid-40s. He's got this, he's, he's very good at what he does. And, and in many ways, he loves what he does. He's driven. He, uh, he's almost addicted to it, adrenaline and, and, and enormous challenges. But, and he believes he's on the tale of a very important story. What if the Islamic State has in fact captured chemical weapons and is preparing genocidal attacks? Is that true? Against whom would they use these chemical weapons? Can it be stopped? What are ISIS's real motives? What does the American government understand about the apocalyptic Islamic ideology that's driving ISIS leaders? And what is the American government prepared to do to stop um, this threat? Those questions are driving J.B. Collins, but through all his own personal struggles and through all the dangers and threats that he's facing, he begins to change. His values, he starts to question what he's doing, why he's doing it, should he be doing it? And sometimes those hesitations are useful, and some of those hesitations and, and moral quandaries uh, put him in even more risk.